defining chromosome regions if we take the example of a typical chromosome a typical chromosome consists of centromere that is present in the middle centromere and it consists of two arms this is the arm of the chromosome and this is the second arm of the chromosome so a typical chromosome consists of a centromere and two arms one of the arm that is usually short in nature that is called p arm while the longer one is called as q arm so there are two arms of each chromosome each of these arms they have the regions the larger fragments which are present on the p arm they will be written as region 1 and region 2 we can say that this region can be written as 1 and this region of the chromosome can be written as 2 region 1 and region 2 same is on the lower side in case of q arm in case of q arm we can see that region 1 and region 2 they represent to this part of the q arm and to this part of the q arm so on p arm there are two regions one and two same is on the q arm region 1 and region 2 now each of the region that consist of bands or within the regions there are bands within a region 1 there is only one band there is region 2 within the region 2 there are two bands band 1 and band 2 so region 1 consist of a single band while region 2 consist of two bands same is here in case of q arm we can see that region 1 consist of two bands band 1 and band 2 while the region 2 consist of band 3 and band 4 are in within the region 2 within the bands there are sub bands if we see here within band 1 we can see the sub band is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so these are called as sub bands we can conclude that sub bands are present within the bands and bands are present of within the region region are the larger fragments we can see with the help of the microscopes during performing the karyotyping if a gene is located for an example on chromosome 17q a 1 1.2 then how we will identify that which one is the band or which one is the region where that gene is located look at the example let's say this is chromosome 17 and gene is located on 17q11.2 so we will say 17 is for the chromosome q is for the arm that is q arm and 11.2 1 is for the region and this one is for the band and this two is for the sub band so in this way we can identify that where a gene is located we can see that bands are present within the bands just to understand that how bands are present within the bands if this is a band here we cannot see further fragments which are present in this band but when we will magnify the microscope then we will see that there are further bands within this band so this band consist of three sub bands 1 1 1 2 and 1 3 but again when we will magnify this band we will come to know that again there are two sub bands 1 1.1 and 1 1.2 this band is 1 1.2 and this band is for 1 1.1 chromosome identification can be done based on three different things chromosomes can be identified based on their size chromosomes can be identified based on the position of the centromeres 
and chromosomes can be identified based on the bending pattern which is present on the chromosomes so this is the complete chromatogram of the humans in case of this chromatogram we can see that how bending patterns are represented while describing the human chromosomes we will just take the example of one of the chromosome that is chromosome 1 in this case this is p arm this is q arm each of the arm has regions region 1 this is region 1 region 2 region 3 region 4 and each of the region has bands then these bands they further have sub bands so in this way chromosomes they have been divided into regions bands and sub bands chromosome have different regions and these regions they are labeled in the form of regions bands sub bands and with the help of these nomenclature we can check or we can identify where our gene is located or we can also write the position of a gene with respect to the bending pattern